and we have the black and white evidence that the lights were shortened. I handed it out at the Public Safety Committee meeting this past week. I'm sorry for the legislators that don't have it in front of them right now. But we have black and white hardcore evidence that the Department of Transportation sent an email to, out to their employees telling them to go to the red light camera intersections and retime them. This was back in 2011. This evidence can't be discredited and nor does anybody on this panel have the authority to discredit the black and white evidence. Okay? People are getting killed in this intersection and other ones like Old Town Road and County Road 83 because of engineering malpractice that came along with the red light camera program to enhance revenue to the county. I'm asking you guys if you have the slightest conscience to please protect the children and temporarily, if anything, please suspend the program until we have an investigation. The evidence is concrete in black and white and you can't deny it. You can't just say that, oh, it doesn't make any difference. It does make a difference. Kids have gotten killed. The videos have been deleted. And not to mention, this is, this is really another thing I want to talk about. Nobody ever wants to mention the eyewitness testimony that I gather from these accidents that every time, say, the lights played a role, the short yellow lights played a role in the past three tragic accidents in which it was all children that were affected and two of them didn't make it out alive. Now I speak to the people that spend the last breath with these children who were witnessing the accident as it took place. I loaded on the internet and they all say the same thing. Someone was trying to get out of the way of the camera and beat a short and yellow light. So please, I'm urging you to act. You owe it to the children. This has nothing to do with the county's financial obligations. It really doesn't. It has to do with safety. And the children are being put at risk for revenue, and it's not fair. It, it's not fair at all. I don't think any one of you would like it if it was your kid that had to cross these intersections every day and they were put at risk. I, I have the video of that boy's accident, and it is cut and dry that that lady was trying to get out of, out of the view of the camera. She was waiting for her opportunity to make a left. She had a green light, and as soon as she got the opportunity, she hit the gas, and any one of us would do the same thing. And that kid lost his life because of it. We have a duty to act. I'm urging you to please act. And also, I need you to stop disassociating yourself with these, these children and go to these pages and look at the pictures. This kid was a beautiful boy. He did not deserve to die. His family- Mr. Ruth, your time is up. Like I said, he was a beautiful boy and he did not deserve to die. It was not his time to go, nor was it John Luke's time to go. Thank you, Mr. Ruth.